one millimeter quad turbos, 12.3 liter V16, and 5,007 horsepower. We're talking about the Devil 16, baby. Welcome back to Cars You Didn't Know Existed. The Devil 16 production version launched at the Buy International Motor Show in 2017 for the first time showcasing the V16. Everybody went crazy. After all the talk, there was finally proof that this thing might actually exist. But before we get into where we're at now, first we have to go back to the dawn of time. 2006. Not only did Crank That from Soldier Boy come out that year, so did the Devil 16. At least the thought of it. It all started with two guys going, Hey, we should know the world's fastest car. And the other guy was like, So it's lit. I googled 2006 slang and that's what came up. I'm so sorry. I was like four years old. But in 2008, they finally dove deep into product research and development. To make a car with 5,000 horsepower is no small feat. At such crazy numbers, things like heat management, aerodynamics, and reliability under extreme conditions become almost impossible challenges to tackle. Even simple components like tires and brakes start to become an issue when you're pushing this much power. Despite all these challenges, by 2013, they finally had their very first prototype. Now the prototype didn't have the 5,000 horsepower glorious V16 they promised, but it was a good start. It wasn't until two years later that they finally stopped edging on the diehard Devil 16 fans and finally gave us the V16 they promised. The 2017 show was held in Dubai and the Devil 16 was a hit. It got everybody talking about it, wondering, how can I get one of these things? Where can I get it? When will it come out? All these questions. But first, let's start off with the basics. This bad boy has an entire carbon fiber body, extreme aerodynamics, including an active air wing, similar to a Bugatti, and weighed in at about five, thousand pounds almost as much as your mother the weird jet like exhaust was super cool was purpose built to shoot flames but also keep the flames back far enough not to hurt people we're shooting flames safely brothers finally playing with fire is okay and your mom was wrong it had 21 inch rims on the front 22 inch rims on the rear and did i mention it has a frunk now this two-door beast was actually designed off of a jet fighter to give it both the aerodynamics it needed and the smooth, sexy looks it needed to sell. Now enough about the outside. Sometimes it's the inside that counts. Now in the concept stage, the interior of the car was very simple. It had a small steering wheel, uncushioned seats, and just enough buttons and dials to feel like a DIY racing simulator. Since then though, a lot of changes have been made. They went from having these wide techy interiors that would make an iPad kid cream of jeans to having nice classic, C8 Corvette. It's a C8 Corvette interior, it's a C8 Corvette. But it looks cool. Not to mention the digital rear view mirror, which, you know, a limited RAV4 has one, so you know, yay. But the limited RAV4 does not have something that the 16 does have, a $30,000 windshield. I have one point for RAV4 right now. Now the interior this car has by the time it actually makes production, only God knows, it's changed so many times. And now for the part you've been waiting for. The engine, baby! The 5,000 horsepower B16 they've been promising finally had a chance to plop its butt down on a dyno. Now the base of this engine, as insulting as it is to say, is essentially two LS's slapped together, but like 20 times the engineer. It had 481 millimeter turbos and a beautiful sequential transmission to hold all that power. So what did this thing dyno in at? It came in at a blistering 4,500 horsepower before it shut the dyno down because it was too much power. But then this begs the question, can the Devil 16's engine really hit 5,000 horsepower? To understand the question a little bit better, let's dive down and take a look at an example. Saying your engine makes 5,000 horsepower but is only proven to have 4,500 horsepower is kinda like the equivalent to measuring your dick from your balls. Sure, it looks better on paper, but in the end, it's just not true. Even the lowest horsepower version of the Devil 16 claimed to make 2,000 horsepower, but dynoed over about 1,500 just slightly. Which, to be fair, is serious competition against things like the Chiron and the Jesco. Now, finally bringing us up to date, in 2022, we finally have the very first consumer build, Devil 16. Now, this one in particular does hold their lower horsepower V8, which is a bit of a shame, but it's still good to see Devil at least pushing something out rather than nothing. And that 2000 horsepower V8 is also kind of a glorified LS with the turbo, which unfortunately also makes it about as unique as all the Civics in my area that are also running a turbo LS. So, still cool though. Now, say you want to pick up one of these 1.8 seconds, 0 to 60, 350 mile per hour, two and a half ton beasts. 
Well, as of right now, we don't have any time estimates on when the next one's coming out, whether it's gonna be the V16, the V8, the other V8, we don't know. But we do have some price estimates. If you're looking for the budget option, luckily you're only forking out about $1.6 million. If you want an extra 1,000 horsepower, you only have to fork up 1.8 million. Which honestly, if you have that kind of money to spend an extra $200,000 for an extra 1,000 horsepower to make it 3,000, that's honestly not a bad deal. And last but definitely not least, you have the Diamond Unicorn herself. If you're willing to fork in a little over $2 million, you get the beautiful V16. Now with Devil Motors working on other projects like the 720 horsepower turbo diesel Devil 60, who knows when we're finally gonna have time to see some more of these Devil 16 Bugatti eaters. But hopefully we get more word on that soon and I'll keep you updated. Thank you to all the resources that make videos like this possible. If you have any cars you don't think anybody else has heard of, drop them down in the comments below, maybe we'll do a video on one. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.